This is Peter Bint of Hashtag Daily K. Please enjoy hour number two of a Tuesday. Welcome to Career with Mindy. If you're into Korea, then surely you have a favorite one of these. Learning Korean through famous lines from K dramas, movies, and even songs on. Welcome to Korea with Minji. It is a Tuesday, you know what this music means. Welcome to Korea, where we teach you the language in a fun way. We're not going to be strict, and if you make mistakes, that's great for us to give you tips. Minji's here to help. How are we doing, Minji? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> Have you had a good seven days since we saw you last? Uh, yeah, um, actually, in the last weekend, mm-hmm. there was my cousin's... Oh, Wedding ceremony. Oh, wow. Nice. Are you <laughs> yeah, close yeah. with your cousin? Uh huh. And, um, you know, since we got dressed, mm-hmm. uh, um, my family and I took a family photo shoot. Oh, nice. <laughs> On that yeah. same day, just yeah, 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 separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what a great I idea. mean, we looked better than other days. <laughs> so <laughs> we decided to choose, um, take a family picture. Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah. Do you do that often as a family? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just wanted to try something new and yeah. casual. Okay, so, so you went to like a photo studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not like a normal, like typical family picture. Oh. But rather, um, I made a reservation for a self-service filming studio. Oh, cool. So you could do the photos yourselves? Uh-huh. <gasps> like they give you the little pointer uh-huh. to click. Ah. to take the pictures. So you can just push that and take as many as you like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you get all the photos. Mm-hmm. <gasps> like they give the link so that uh, we can download those photos. That's a good idea. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, it's really nice. It can be a bit of a hassle, to be honest, especially when your kids are small and they're like, I don't want to take photos, <laughs> like to drag them to the uh-huh. studio. We did it about a year ago. Oh, nice. And it's nice. the first time we've done it for about, I don't know, maybe maybe only the second time in our lives as a family of four. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's so lovely to have. We didn't go to a self one. We went to one where the p- photographer did it mm-hmm, for us. Because mm-hmm. to be honest, they did this amazing thing. They took lots of photos, but mm-hmm. in every photo, there's one person who looked bad. Like at least one oh, of the yeah, four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true. <laughs> so they just photoshopped like different heads from <gasps> different photos. And oh, it looks wow. really natural. <laughs> Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you can't tell. Oh. So I've been to the self places. They're great because you can take unlimited photos. You get the link and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's no photoshopping in those. Ca- I guess you could maybe at some places pay more and they might do that. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. As for my case, there's uh-huh. one lady who uh-huh. a little touched the, those pictures up. Oh, nice. But not like changing all the faces the and so on. No yeah, cutting yeah. and pasting or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, uh-huh. that, that is an extra service. I, mean, I think your wire, this wire, is, is mm-hmm. tapping that one. And it's just, there we go. Yeah, just okay. put it down there. Cool. All right. Uh, today we've got a drama or movie and three lines as ever to learn, Minji. So we yes. should take a look at those first. Okay, so the first sentence is 잔소리할게 뻔해서 끊었어. 잔소리할게 뻔해서 끊었어. Yes, and it means I hung up because I knew he'd nag at me to hurry home. Oh, okay. I hung up because I knew he'd nag at me. And then from the context of this conversation, you know it's about coming home early. Mm -hmm. Not strictly in the sentence, right? Uh, We'll get to real details and each word definitions a little later on, but this is just the overall definition. Uh, Second sentence. 금수저 중에 금수저지. 금수저 중에 금수저지. Yes, and it means he or she is the golden spoon of golden spoons. <laughs> the golden spoon of golden spoons. Yes. And I was trying to think, I think you'd understand golden spoon in English, but the usual term is a silver spoon, mm, right? Yeah, that's right. And so in right. Korea, we've come up with extra like additions to this originally, I believe, English phrase, right? We've got the golden spoon, we've got the like soil or dirt spoon, the mm, hook sucha. Yeah, that's true. And these days there is even taiya sucha. Oh, really? Yeah. Above the golden uh-huh, spoon, uh-huh. a diamond spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes from a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> is a diamond spoon even possible, I wonder? English speakers out there, can you tell me, do we use golden spoon and like dirt spoon as well? Or would you understand them? What we're meaning is even more privileged for a golden spoon than a silver spoon, right? Mm. Uh, and then the third sentence. Ton 
돈 많이 벌어서 부자 될 거야. Yes, and it means uh, I will make a lot of money and becomes rich. I will make lots of money and become rich. Sounds like a good plan, I suppose. Not a bad one. Uh, we will get to <laughs> our acting where those three sentences are in Korean and the rest is in English. Let's set up the scene today, Minji. Okay, so the scene is about there is a um, high school character, high schooler character, mm-hmm. Sung Chan, yeah. and there is his friend Chu Hee. They work at a part time job at a convenience store. Okay, and after they finish their work, they talk about their dreams while having tteokbokki. Oh, okay. So the youth having a little talk after a part time job, maybe a hard day's work, talking about their dreams. I'm sure we can all remember those times. I'm going to play Sung Chun, and mm-hmm. you will play the female friend Chui. Yes, and um, keep in mind that Chui is from the. Uh, Rich family, uh-huh. while you is from the poor family. Oh, why is she working at a convenience store? Because I was going to say, it's not that common to have a part-time job in career at school, mm, I would say. It's not, not a common thing. Especially for a rich girl from yeah, America. Yeah, but uh, this is because she just wants to be herself, oh. not a, you know, be a somebody's daughter oh. from the rich family. Much respect to Dewey then. All right, <laughs> let's take it away. Was that your mom? No, my dad. My mom passed away. I hung up because I knew he'd 잔소리 할게 뻔해서 끊었어. Um, about the boy who came to see you earlier, are you friends with him? Friends? He's the son of Toshin Group's president. 금수저 중에 금수저지. There's no way we can be friends. I think you're much better than him. You make an effort to support yourself. That's really admirable. But you should smile. On my first day of this part-time job, remember you said I'd get exhausted if I kept smiling? Now I get your point. Nevertheless, you need to smile a bit. I saw your smile for the first time today. Really? Did you? Yes. Sun-chan, what's your dream? What about you? Me? Well, a writer maybe? My dream was to write novels like Harry Potter. Right now, I'm not sure. What about you? I want to be rich. To be rich? That's your dream? What will you do then? Isn't it obvious? There'll be so many things I can do. I'll go study abroad and travel. I'll do anything I want. I like the way you said Harry Potter in a British way. <laughs> you know what I said. Rather than Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, absolutely <laughs> fabulous. What was your dream, just on an offshoot here, Minji, when you were younger? Uh, younger. Um, my dream was um, to be a Korean teacher, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> your dreams came true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah, yeah. I dreamed, like, the same thing. Fabulous. <laughs> Yeah, That's a brilliant <laughs> life lived, isn't it? For me, I didn't dream of being a radio host at all. <laughs> I never even thought that was a possibility. Uh, so yeah? it's a bit different. I wanted to be a footballer, to mm. be honest. Still, if you told me today you can be a footballer or a radio DJ, I'd be a footballer, I mm. think, yeah, even at this that, age. That's just, just to you. Uh, yeah, maybe more than radio DJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys and girls, we need you also to guess what drama or movie this is Any other hints, Minji, for this? Um, well, maybe in um, our three lines, uh-huh. there is a <gasps> kumsuja uh, term. Think about that. Yeah. <laughs> right, that is a big hint to today's answer. <laughs> and we'll be back with your voice clips. Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju... 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Seogipu City. 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Arirang Radio. 
we're back for part two. Welcome to Career with Minji in the studio, teaching Korean through a drama or a movie. And we want your voice clips for what we've put up on YouTube. You can scroll up and see it romanized and in Hangul. Or send us any Korean you want feedback on. That's okay. Our username's Daily K. Thank you to Marilyn, it was, in New Zealand, saying we only use the term in English silver spoon mm. um, but i did just finish watching golden spoon last night and i loved it that's the guest for the drama and i think many got in touch when even before we started acting mm-hmm. from our three sentences a <laughs> yeah. leader said is it the golden spoon kumsuja <laughs> yeah so well true done. well done the hint I was mean, a bit too big today i think <laughs> yeah, it's obvious <laughs> absolutely and siska saying I recommended this drama before on a Sunday in a song request, but the ending for me oh, was not satisfying. Why Sung Chun had to end up like that, uh, but Taeyong's ending was good. We won't have any spoilers, uh, but mm. you said Sung Chun maybe pre- paid for his greediness. Oh, mm. so what's going on here at the moment from our role play? All I could uh, tell was that Sung Chun is not born with a golden spoon, but he wants to be rich. Yes, he uh, wants to change his fate. Uh-huh. And one day he uh, ran into an old lady selling uh-huh. uh, the gold spoon. Oh, like like the, a real? Yeah, real gold spoon. <laughs> okay. And she said if he uh, buy it uh, for like $30, And have meals for three times at someone's house, uh-huh. and then and then yeah he can change his parents. Oh, so that's the main idea of this drama. What like, to rich parents? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he does that. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Does he not appreciate his parents at all? Like, he's not very emotionally attached. Wow, that's a big decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Hwang Tae-yong is, um, uh, his father is very rich. Uh-huh. So, um, Sung Chan had meals three times at uh, Tae-yong's house. Oh, and then do they, like, switch parents? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, literally. I see. Wow. Yeah, literally change. And, you know, um, the, the actor is the um, Yuk Sung Jae. And I really admire his acting. From B2B, the boy group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. He laughs like crazy after finding out his parents are actually changed in the drama. He's happy about it. Yes. Wow. So that's, um, I mean, I liked it, but there's also like, wow. It's a very harsh message, isn't it? Yeah. (laughs) You can see in the poster for it as well how... Mm -hmm. decadent it looks Mm. Uh, oh I think I did hear something about this and I remember um, someone talking about maybe the rich guy going to the poorer parents but maybe having some more love and things like this or a closer relationship I'm not sure if that Mm. was this drama Mm -hmm. cry p35 says I've heard of wooden spoon referring to poorer people and silver spoon referring to wealthy people Uh, so Mm. instead of hooksajo which is like dirt spoon maybe Mm. wooden spoon wooden spoon interesting interesting but we don't in Korean we don't say like namu sujo no not at all Uh, (laughs) and Chewie your character was Mm -hmm. another like k-pop star right Right, from the girl group IOI. Yes. Um, actress is Chong Tae Yun. Okay. Yes. Wow. So a nice young cast, and it was originally from a webtoon. If mm-hmm. you want to go and read that, finishing recently. Okay, we got lots of uh, clips to play, I assume, here. Let me go in and play our first submission from Benny in the Philippines. Let's take a listen and we'll give you some feedback to this. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. I didn't quite hear the end there. Gunossa <laughs> didn't sound very clear. Uh, but um, the I would say the chunk should be um between bonesa and gunossa. Okay. Oh, uh, so maybe you you can go like chansori halke bonesa gunossa. Chansori halke bonesa. Yes. So the last part can be kind of separate, right? Mm-hmm. And I think as well, Benny, it really sounded like mm. halge, halge. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. spelt that way, to be fair. That's right, that's right. But um, um, when it comes to this modifying lil, it's mm-hmm. followed by kyo, uh-huh. then you need to pronounce this kyo as if it is a double kyo, <sighs> like halge. These rules Why are quite complicated. Why are you compl- saying? If it's a modifying leal, <laughs> oh, because sorry, it's so from like... hada to uh-huh, hal. Uh-huh. Ah, so when that leal is modifying that syllable, uh-huh. and then a kiok follows, do a double kiok sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hal ke. Hal ke. Hal ke. It's the same uh, when you say like hal ko ye or something. 
is not like, 할 거예요. No, it, you, you have to be like 할 거예요. So the spelling, though, is a single k y o k There aren't many exceptions in Hangul where you read it differently to how it should be pronounced. Like English, there's so many exceptions, right? But in Korean, you should thank your lucky stars that there's not too many. This is one of the few. Mm-hmm. 할 게. 할게 is yes. the right pronunciation. 할게. Okay, let's take a look at the first word here before mm-hmm. we go to another sentence then. 잔소리. Okay, so 잔소리 means nip-ticking. Nip-picking. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagging. Yeah. All of those kind of, you're not really being positive, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. and you don't want to hear it. <laughs> the other person, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, when you rebuke someone or mm-hmm. when you interfere in someone's affair. It's usually what? maybe parents do to their kids mm-hmm. or your husband or wife does to you as well, right? <laughs> That's right. It's like maybe, oh, don't forget to take some warmer clothes. Don't forget to do this. Do mm-hmm. that. Do this. Come home now. Blah, blah, blah. That's all. Oh, yeah. That's c h a n s o r i And that's a really interesting phrase because s o r i I know, means like sound, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So when you put chan in front of it, it's like almost like a nagging sound. Mm, like, yeah, little c h e r r y sound. c h a n s o r i Yeah, c h a n s o r i Mm-hmm. So, bonesa mm-hmm. from bonada. Yes, bonada, and it means to be obvious or evident. To be obvious or evident. Yes. So, in this case, it's talking about the nagging. It was obvious mm-hmm. the nagging was going to happen. Yeah. Right. You knew it. It would happen. So I'm sorry. Hake. So that's kind of the verb part. The hada hake. Bonesa, obvious, and then. Mm-hmm. It comes from kunta, the verb, mm-hmm. and it means to cut, to break off. But in this context, it means to hang up, like hang up on the phone. So literally, to cut or break something, like you could maybe cut or break some noodles or a string. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think originally for the phones, when they used to have wires, you could imagine you hanging up is cutting the connection. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right, so hanging up. Gunta, mm-hmm. that's a tough one, isn't it? Because it's got the double pachim as well, the ni and h i r But you don't like need to say gun hossa. No, no, like, no. Like when it comes to this h i r that mm-hmm. is followed by yu, mm. then it, it is silent. That's another rule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Another rule. Gun hossa. Gun hossa. All right. Now, 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 all about Korea. Korea. Arirang Radio. Let's play one version of sentence number two. This is Marilyn in New Zealand. Kum so jo j u n g i kum so jo j i Oh, like everything is very, in Korean we say like dobak, dobak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Syllable by syllable. Yeah, yeah and clear. And I, I love the intonation. Good stuff. Yeah. If it was said completely naturally in Korean, how would you say it? Uh, I would say this j u n g u i part, mm-hmm. like j u n g e Chunge. Yeah, it's way more easy. Mm-hmm. Chunge. That ui, that u uh, i, mm. can often be read in those two ways, right? If you want to be really strict about it, ui, but most people just say e, right? Yes, yes. Chunge. Chunge. So, kum sujo chunge, kum sujo ji. That's right. Well done, Marilyn. Let's hear one more and then get into the definition. <laughs> uh, let's hear maybe from Benedict in the Philippines. I believe this is your attempt at sentence two as well. <laughs> Almost sounded like it was kum saja junge kum suja ji. Kum saja would be a gold lion, I suppose. Kum saja is a lion. Wow. But it should be kum suja. Kum suja. Yes. Kum suja. So the, it's all one word as they're all put together there, but it could be kum suja, like a little break between kum and suja. Mm. Because I guess sujo is one thing and kum is the descriptor mm-hmm. in front of there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what does that mean, kum sujo? Well, it means um, silver spoon in English translation, maybe. Yeah, well, I mean, in Korean, you, you, we originally said like un sujo, did we? Or did mm. we always go for kum sujo, pretty that, much? I think that's the um, recent term, ah. that someone is less um, rich than kum sujo. Uh-huh. But the common thing is just uh, kum sujo. Ah. Oh, so silver spoon in English, because that was a real thing. Not many people had golden spoons at all, but rich people had silver spoons. Mm-hmm. And so silver spoon is the common English. In Korean, for someone who's privileged, kum suja. Yes. Literally, kum is gold and suja is spoon, right? Mm-hmm. But suja is not spoon, right? Uh, suja also means spoon and chopsticks. Like, not knife and fork. 
like it's just spoon and chopsticks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Su cho. Ah. Su comes from skarag and cho comes from the chotkara. Ah. So that's why it's chops, uh, spoon and chopstick. Yeah, because when I set the table, you'll say suja sujo katada, or mm. like to the kids or something. Yeah, yeah. Sujo take, nara. Put the spoon and chopsticks down there. But then why is this not kum sukara, I wonder? Because um, that would literally be golden spoon, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but suja, I, I actually found the dictionary. Yeah. And suja also means just spoon. Oh. So that's why it's just a gold spoon. How confusing is that, guys? <laughs> it can mean both spoon and chopsticks or just spoon. Yeah. Interesting. And sukara, on the other hand, always mm-hmm. means just spoon. Yes. Like the spoon itself. I'm going to start saying kum <laughs> sukara. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try and make more common. But this is the term, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Kum sujo chunge, kum sujo ji. Yeah. Uh, if you say this pattern where you've got a chunge, a ji, so it looks like you're comparing things, but you're not really. You're saying out of this, they are this again. Yes, yes, that's the common pattern. Uh-huh. And um, it is used when you especially say something is best in among a particular group. Which And usually, aren't you saying like this, mm-hmm. out of a group of good things, mm-hmm. they're the best? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. Like, like, like 천재 중에 천재. Which would mean out of the geniuses, they are the genius. Mm-hmm. Or like Wang Jung e Wang, the like king of kings. kings. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so in that case, I, I guess you could say the king of kings, the mm-hmm. genius of geniuses, mm-hmm. the golden spoon of golden spoons. It sounds a little awkward that final one, but in Korean, you're just meaning out of all the privileged people, they're the most privileged. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a good phrase. So you just do a chung e. A. Mm-hmm. A chung e a. And chung meaning just like. Like the middle one. The among middle. a set of something. Okay, the middle one or among these. So among mm-hmm. the golden spoons, they're the golden spoons. And the G at the end mm-hmm. is there for a reason, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's an ending uh, to use in a, like a friendly manner. Mm-hmm. When you want to say something in a friendly manner, then you would put this G. G, G. And does it kind of have that thing like you're almost... Trying to persuade them to agree or or understand your point of view. They're the golden spoon of golden spoons. Mm. Like the, I guess that intonation in English would be similar. But gee, like you said, yeah, yeah, between yeah. friends, not mm-hmm. with your like boss or anything like that. No, in, in uh, between friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on to sentence three now. Uh, Poopert has sent this one in. Let's take a listen. Here we go. Don, money borosso, puja de koya. I love the acting. You're really persuading us that uh, yeah. this is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Good pronunciation. Yeah, 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 of course. All right, what should we break down first in this sentence? Mm, maybe a uh, polda. Polda. Mm-hmm. Uh, poroso comes from the verb polda. Mm-hmm. And it means to earn or to make. Or sometimes it means to bring on oneself. Aha, uh-huh, okay. To earn or to make in this case, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, in this case, the polda is linked to ton money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or tonel polda. Tonel money polda. Mm-hmm. And ton meaning money. And money meaning like a lot. A lot. Yeah. So I'm going to earn a lot of money and because mm-hmm. that poros heart is like. Linking it to something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, connecting. Okay, 돈 많이 벌어서 dot dot dot. We'll find out about that after one more sentence three. Let's see what we've got here. Siska from Indonesia. 돈 많이 벌어서 무차 돌고야. That scooter in the background was a little distracting. <laughs> She's on the way to go some, somewhere. Yeah, I think the 돌 was a little... Hard for me to hear. Twel, mm. twel koya. But that doesn't have to be overly pronounced for twel. No, you just can say like twel koya. Twel koya. Mm-hmm. And something twel koya means. Like, um, I will become something. I will become that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twel koya. So the other key word here must be puja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> puja means um, rich, like rich person. Puja. So, yeah. Because doesn't. This is my my hancha understanding and knowledge is really small, but sometimes I recognize characters from here and there. Can cha often be used to mean some kind of person, mm. some kind of cha, mm-hmm. cha, and then pu? 
I've heard that in words like puyuhata, yes, like to have yes. a lot of like wealth or something mm-hmm. like that. Pu means wealth. So that's literally a wealthy person, right? Mm-hmm. Puja del koya. Puja del koya. I'm going to be a rich person. Yeah. Yes. I, I do hear that word a lot more in Korea, I feel. Puja. Mm, rather puja. than in English, like rich oh, yeah? person. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, we're, we're kind of motivated in that way to be successful, you know, go to a good university, get a good job, mm, that kind of thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I think um, Koreans also use this puja a lot in a kind of different way. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have something a lot than other people, ah. then you just put this puja, like. Like Tangbuja or something. A like, land wealthy person. Yeah, or just Talbuja. Like if you have many daughters, <laughs> then you could be um, um, Talbuja. You're rich in daughters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That's kind of a fun way to do it as well, isn't it? Uh, well done to everyone for sending in your clips today. What an interesting drama, interesting phrases. Uh, and we'll see you again next Tuesday. Yeah. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Thank you for listening to Welcome to Career with Minji, a corner you can hear on Hashtag Daily K in hour number two on Tuesday.